how did I end up on Gabriola? It is a story I've heard many people tell. Uh, I was living in Vancouver uh, with my partner at the time, and um, we realized that we needed to get out of Vancouver. And um, whenever we went for a walk in the endowment lands at UBC, we felt really good afterwards, and we thought, hmm. And we love to go camping, you know, where you have to go and drag everything out and sleep in a plastic bag on a patch of grass. So we thought, oh, maybe that means we like the country. So we came to Nanaimo because we had a friend there. And uh, she said, have you, have you ever been to over to Gabriola? And you know, I've lived in Vancouver since 1975 and I had never taken that little ferry ride over here. So we did. And we got out of the car at Drumbeg uh, Park at the, at the end of the island there and we just fell in love. And so we um, managed to find uh, a place that we could afford to buy. This was a long time ago, 21 years. I, I couldn't afford to to live here now. I'm glad I came when I did. What inspires me is I think people, and in particular women, who keep going at, against all odds, um, who find a way to stay true to themselves, um, to their voice. I have not always been an artist. I started off um, in the banking world um, as a 21 year old. I, I went into a bank and got a job as a teller in Toronto and worked my way. I guess they spotted something in me that I didn't know I had. I was promoted up the chain and ended up with a very good career in, um, in a head office job. Uh, systems. I was a systems officer and then I wrote manuals for financial institutions and um, that's what I was doing when I was uh, in my early 30s and became very very sick and hospitalized and had to stop work and um, had one of those crises that they that they describe as a healing crisis and I started uh, dabbling in um, uh, little watercolor paints that I bought in Chinatown in Victoria because that's where I was living at the time and I, it grew from there I I didn't quit my day job right away. I think that's a mistake. I kept the day job, shortened it to part-time, and um, was able to develop myself as an artist uh, uh, alongside the paid work uh, for the bank. 